Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Chocolate Beauty. I know that I told you guys that I was going to be responding to the receipts that OG had dropped uh, last week. I will be responding to it right now. All right, here we go. Thank you. Well rested. Thanks. I tried. And you said all of us are are guilty of this issue that's in the group, including myself, which you said including yourself, correct? No, so, what I said was mm -hmm. there's a colorism issue in the group. Mm -hmm. We've all experienced it, and everyone has a say. Everyone has a part. Mm -hmm. When I said, when you said, are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. You experienced a colorism issue where the woman attacked you involving your children, and it was a big ordeal, and you've experienced a colorism issue in this group. And you remember I asked you, I said, oh, gee, educate me, educate us all, and tell us what you consider colorism. Because you also said, well, you can't. Come on, boot licking Jackie Christie. Stop it. You sound like Sharon Osbourne at this moment. Educate me. Lord have mercy. Say, I didn't say you can't say get your ass over here. I said when you say that, it is a form of colorism and it starts at an early age. And then I gave the example, if a person who was not black said, get your black ass over here or wake your black ass up, it would be a problem. So if we have, a, as a black community, have a problem with somebody else who's not black saying, get your black ass over here or wake your black ass up, but we can say that to our friends, our family, and our children, that's a part of the problem. Well, I get what you're saying, OG, but my thing is, I'm not arguing that. Like, you know, as a community, we might say, oh yeah, that's my nigga, this and that, but we, we do, as a community, and I'm not putting words in people's mouth, we get offended if someone else, there's two ways to say it, I think. It's a way to say it in a, with a, you're a nigga, or a nigger, and then there's a way to be like, oh yeah, that nigga was having, it. it's, it's, it's really a touchy thing that I've never, you know, we know when something is, is that way, it's like, oh my God, I think that was racist towards me, that that person drove down the street and said, you nigger, that's well, I, I personally don't use else. the word. I, I feel that I have did this colorism thing too. I just need to be clear with you right now. Like, you sound like an educated fool, Jackie Christie. Like an educated fool. You ask her to educate you. You go and then you try to educate her on the difference in between the communities using certain types of words versus people outside of our race. How is that learning anything? Where, child. I said, and I'll say it again, I think that um, there are the people who are treating me differently and then the people who are allowing it to happen. Okay. And again, I will explain that. If you allow something to happen and you know it's wrong, in my opinion, you are just as guilty as the person who is committing the act. I'll say it again. If you are present, and you know something is wrong and you're in allowing it to happen you're just as guilty as the person committing the act that's period my i agree that's my opinion i you agree to agree with me i think that it takes i agree with you og say, hey this isn't right and let's fix it not hey i know this isn't right but let's fix it in a convoluted way so for me for me I'm not gonna force anyone to do anything. I've been open to conversations. I have answered a million and one questions. I don't think that I should carry the weight of educating women, some of which are 10, 15 years my senior. I think every- You can't educate people who don't wanna be educated. You got to be open and willing, really open to the conversation in order to learn. And like OG said, it is not her job to educate you, period. One should be able to teach. And why does she have to be the one to do it? To educate somebody. I'm tired of that. And that's not fair. I should be able to also learn from people. And I don't think that it's conducive to try to tell someone, okay, me halfway, but I'm the only one giving halfway. It's a two part deal. It's 50, 50. And right now it's literally 99, 1%. Period. 1 True. Is you True. Trying to force them to come and come around. And I, I don't care either way. I'm going to continue to be myself. 
I'm going to continue to do what I feel is right. And I'm okay with moving forward without agreeing. We don't have to agree. That's crazy to say, you have to agree with me or we're, I'm not going to see you again. That's fine. If you want to be childish, that's fine. It does come across childish that you don't want to have a conversation and y'all can't come together to agree to disagree. Y'all want OG to change her mind, period. And that's not up for discussion. And it is very petty and very childish. It is. Fine. And you know what? No one's being childish. Right? <laughs> and like you said, first of all, I appreciate the fact that you said Oh, Jackie Christie, Jackie Christie. I just said, that's, that's, that's just one of the biggest issues in this group. Everybody has selective memory. I, I speak pretty clear and concise. I said, 99% is me being open. Not them. 99% is me being open. And 1% is you trying to force them to be open. They aren't giving anything. That's math. 99% is me. 1% is you. That means they're giving 0% effort. Did that is, in Malaysia come and sit in these That's chairs? different. If they would have came with the original premise that you told me Kristen was coming for to apologize when she came to ask me questions and tried to make it seem like I'm belittling her, that doesn't count. That's 0% in my book because she did not come to apologize and she admitted that she, she lured you allegedly. She told you something different. You got me to be open to hear her out and it was completely the opposite of what she said she was really coming for. So to me- Ulterior motive right there, exactly. You, Jackie Christie, this is the problem that I have with you. You try to set it up to say, okay, when it, whenever it comes to OG and you trying to intervene and have her have a conversation with the women, you lie to her and then you lie I don't know. I think that they, they know that you're lying to her to get her there and to force her to say something else. She's coming in with the intention to resolve. They came in the intention for her to admit and apologize. Two different um, arterial motives there. Two different ideas of what the conversation is going to be. That still shows Kristen in true form a manipulative person. I don't need to be around a manipulative person. I think that her her mentality and the way she treats people in her circle, she's been getting away with it. She's not a part of my circle. She's not a part of my life. So I'm not gonna let her be convoluted, be nasty, be conniving around me. I don't care. I was open. I heard what she had to say. I gave her multiple examples. She's gonna take it back. She's gonna twist it to her version to fit her narrative. And I still don't care. I've been clear, I've been concise. If it doesn't get translated appropriately, that's on the person receiving the information. There are plenty of times when I say something and it gets repeated back right away, wrong. I can't control how people receive stuff. Okay, well, when they come. I know Christian came over here and it seemed like it was, uh, it was like a bunch of questions. It was like a Q and A. And you have just been like very snappy. Snappy, Jen. No, that's an that's a reach. I haven't been snappy, especially not to you. I was sitting here the other night. Jackie was yelling. I said, "Take your voice down." You chimed in a little bit. The other girl was yelling. At times, I raised my voice too. Everybody was on edge. So don't just say, "Oh, gee, you were snappy." Exactly. I've never snapped at you about this subject at all. I've simply said, "I don't really want to keep talking about it." Just as I did the first day, just as I did the second day. I did not snap at you, but if you feel I snapped at you, that's fine. Right, so so just like you don't want us to tell you about your experience, I'm telling you what I I just agreed with you and said that's fine. Did yeah, you receive that? You don't ever say how we can make it better. Jen, Jen, what do you want me what do you want me to tell you guys to make it better when it's a self-revelation? Like, I, I said it so many times when Kristen was present. This is an epiphany you have to have on your own. I'm not supposed to fix you guys to make you see what I see and make it better. Exactly. You have to realize these things on your own. On your own. I'm not, I'm not asking you to, to help me feel better. I so, feel fine. So I, that, that's probably why I'm not, you're not receiving... You're telling me how can you make it feel better for me? I feel fine. I've moved on. I said it's been like over a year, and I asked Kristen why now. I said that. So if you guys you didn't, didn't say that, thank you. Let me, let me say this right here. 
You're saying you feel fine. I have not once Deep brought this subject up for the record. Huh? I have not once brought this subject up for the record. It's been brought up and I've addressed it because it's been brought up okay. and brought up. But OG, do you understand? And you and I have had conversations. I asked you, would you be willing to speak to the ladies? You said yes. You came in open hearted, open minded. I don't like Jackie. You're speaking in circles. And the girl has actually done what you asked her to do. So the fact that you keep on continuing with the asking her, like I asked you to talk to the women, that's exactly what she did, but they didn't come in with the same conversation. They didn't come with the same energy and they didn't come in with the same motive. So what exactly is she supposed to do if that person that you're bringing in is not coming in with the same idea of finding some type of resolve in the situation? Y'all, y'all, y'all perception of what resolve is, is to get OG in a place of admittance that she's wrong. It's, she misunderstood what was going on. If you could, if you're telling me that you're going to have a conversation to a resolve, how does it go from that to a Q&A? Like she said, I cannot give these people epiphanies. I cannot make them change their minds. I can't get them to do anything that they don't want to do. So if they already came through the door knowing that they are not interested in having this conversation, how how is this conversation benefiting me? Why does it always come back to why OG can't have a conversation with these women when that's what she's been doing? Why does it always lead back to her? If these people are not open to having a real discussion about how the way that they can resolve their issue and don't have an ulterior motive to get her to admit that she was wrong, you guys are... <sighs> Let me go back to this. Y'all are sickening. Y'all are sickening. You said yes. You came in open-hearted, open-minded, ready to talk, correct? Somehow or another, we have now come to a crossroads. They don't feel that you are... So what What changed? The first, the first evening, Kristen came over. How is she at a crossroad? when she told you what she wanted to do and what they their intentions of her doing was not what the intent of the conversation was that's not what you said that the con the conversation would lead to so how is how is how exactly is she at a crossroad having her dismissing how the way that she feels having her dismissing her experience having her admit that she was wrong about evelyn will hurt her so how exactly is she at a crossroad Chill. desperately wanting to talk to me and since then everything changed no she no surprise you know she she came the first she came with malaysia for reinforcement let's not let's not be funny well, malaysia she, she, wanted to come talk to you and, and okay well she came with Kristen. they came as a two and i thought they were going to come and play games and enjoy themselves but immediately it was we want to talk about this and I, you can't force people to talk about something they don't want to talk about the fact that i even acknowledged the conversation was me far past 50 percent meeting them halfway because if exactly I don't talk anymore i don't have to if you want to talk i will listen they wanted to talk i was listening but then they wanted to ask me questions well what did, i'm not I'm, listen this is not a questionnaire <laughs> this is not going to be a q a i do not have to answer anybody questions and if i completely say i'm done i'm done but i still haven't said that i said i will hear what they want to say still i have not heard a genuine apology and that's sad what do you if they, i don't if even they, need one but that's sad that they can't figure out okay it's not okay to tarnish somebody's reputation it's not okay to label somebody an angry black woman i gave that example a hundred times and it's so sad that it hasn't resonated that's sad do you, do you agree that calling them or saying that they committed colorism is just doing I did not say that. Anything. So again, I, we're not going to be twisting the words. Well, how did we get to this point? Jackie, you point are a manipulator. The fact that I pointed out an issue in the... No wonder your kids don't like you. Child, Jackie bootlicking Christy. You're a horrible human being. And it's gone worldwide. We are in a pandemic. Okay, we are dealing with people who are losing their lives over racism. It should not take the death of somebody for you to realize that's not okay. It should not take the world being shut down for you to recognize that's not right. It should not take a racist for you to recognize that's not right. If I pointed out an issue before this pandemic 
And now that it's magnified, and now that the world is starting to see, hey, you know what? These women kind of are, are have an issue too. This should have been an opportunity for everybody to make this opportunity for everybody to say let's grow from this let's do a, a workshop let's do something but instead it's you, you let's tell her it could be somebody it could be just you feeling that way i don't care what it is it's my i don't think this is the original one that i wanted to respond to but it's in it's still interesting and i'm still going to respond to it and keep on playing it because they were the one that i was listening to um earlier or the ones that I was telling you that I wanted to share with you guys was talking about the crystal party but I'm still going to respond to this opinion if you don't agree with it but, but we can disagree okay whatever it's what <sighs> I don't care either way I've said that I can be around all walks of life it doesn't matter if you're trying to convolutedly find a way to say something just say it so we don't waste nobody's time right? could I could ask both of you guys the same thing what made you come to Amsterdam when you were welcome what made you stay come on when it was just you and everybody was against you come you on been through similar instances so why don't you ask yourself what did make me stay okay we're talking about this shit for a week yes but, but this is the thing <laughs> You getting called out, Jen, and you don't know how to take the heat. You look stupid. You look stupid trying to speak on the behalf of these women. And you have found yourself at the same position, not almost the same position, as her being at odds with the popular girls. And now that she brings it up, you want to sit here and cuss. Girl, shut up. If I don't want, and it's not on your own, OG. I just don't want you to stay here. Because obviously it's not where you want to be. Are you talking about stay in this group or stay, stay in the house? around the group? Stay I in do. the house, stay here, and I feel horrible. I did invite you here. I wanted my that home. right there is that manipulation. That She's trying to. It's you see. So obvious that this. Is do you remember when I said in my video that Jackie Christie? wanted OG to leave on her own because she didn't want to throw her out of the house. Did you just notice what she did right there? She said that you don't want to be around the women. You don't want to be at this house. You, you, you. She was trying to force OG to say, you know what? You're right. I'll leave. You are such a coward. I don't like people like you. I don't like people like you at all. That reverse psychology that you that 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 manipulation that you use trying to get somebody to do what you want them to do, but to have them make up and try to paint the picture that it's them making the decision, but you're trying to fill their head with ideas to what the messaging is, girl. Okay for bottom line and it's what is the bottom line? Don't you mind bottom line is not basketball wise. I'm not I, bottom, I said the, the lies. Your bottom line. I didn't know. I didn't I say your bottom line. I said I the bottom line. What's the bottom line? It doesn't matter. Oh, your bottom know. line is basketball I'm wise. Girl, stop the lies. Stink. Stop the lies, Jackie. To keep beating boot licking Christy. I agree. I think that it's very wise to allow things to happen organically. <sighs> I think that it is very wise to stop sneak attacking people, to stop forcing conversations, to, to, to create a better situation because honestly, it's making it worse. If our friendship is here, I get it. But I can't go further. I don't want to go further. I'm not going to put this on no So you're pulling anything. out as well. I'm not Got it. pulling out. I don't know what, what do you mean you're not pulling out? You just said that you were. I beg you. OG, what can we do? <laughs> I, said I, would, I said I would be open to talk. I so tried what to else? Call her. She okay, so then how, how is that my fault? How is that my fault? Seriously, how is that my fault? OG. You tried to call her. I was open. So uh, point out my fault in that. If Shelly was to say for instance. So because she didn't. No, no. Hypothetically, if I got her on the phone right now, what would you say to her? We would have a conversation. Okay, she said the same conversation she had with Mark. The same conversation she Mark had with Yes, yeah, she... with two random girls. You're having conversations. If you have an issue with somebody, or you have a question, or you have a concern, you should direct that directly to the person. Do you want Shani to get on the phone with you and talk to her? I don't. She does not feel. I'm not saying you want her. I'm saying you would be wanting her to do it. She That's what it. they want she her to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what they want her to do. See, this is what I don't like. 
and 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 why I say the things that I say about basketball wives and the women that's on this show. She just said you can't get Shawnee on the phone and to say this and, and have this conversation. Jackie, you sound like an educated idiot. You sound like a moron. A know-it-all that knows nothing. I would have said it in proximity to when all of this transpired. Again, it has been a year and a half. Why now? Why now do you guys want to cover this subject? Why now? Why okay, now? We can't be around each other if this <laughs> in the room. So you really think that's the reason why we're not around each other? Or is it because I'm being sued? Are you forgetting that somebody's suing me? Period. Are you forgetting that somebody's suing me? Are you forgetting that somebody's suing me? Over here? She's not that somebody's suing me? Did I sue somebody? Are you forgetting that someone? I just want to know: Are you forgetting that somebody is suing me? So is and, and what are they suing me for? Do you know? Do you know what they're suing me for? Um, you won't talk about. No, but you saw you saw TMZ, so you you know. Don't act stupid, Jackie. I believe it's because you said a racist remark to her. I said a racist remark. I don't fucking. That's not what it is. Okay. You know why they're suing each other? Oh, you everyone's oblivious. No one knows. I don't know. Okay, so I'll tell you guys. Amnesia. Because she posted. A monkey emoji responding to one of my Twitter posts. It went viral, and I said that posting a monkey emoji is racist. She's a racist, and she's suing me for defamation for calling her racist. Now, how many of you guys have called somebody racist? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, some random stranger that acted racist towards you. Are they suing you now? Are they suing you? Are exactly. They suing you? No, they're not. When Cece called her a racist straight to her face to millions of of viewers did she sue cc let that sink in real quick let that sink in real quick when cc called her a racist for calling her lingling did evelyn sue her no she did not you know what she did she went and on her instagram made a live video and apologized to her You see, this is where this is where we're, we're, why the fans is saying that it's a colorism and racism because a non-black person called somebody else by a racial slur, and they called them a racist, and she didn't sue them. It was aired for millions to see, but she puts up a monkey emoji responding to OG. And then when OG calls her a racist because you think that she's ugly because you don't like her, you're going to sue her for defamation. You see how the way that they handle black women and how the way they allow these non-black people to handle us on these shows? Lord have mercy, I'm sick of y'all. Or did she give CC apology? That is my point right there. And that's a part of the problem. And you guys are making it seem like the problem is OG because OG doesn't want to no, beg no, to be no, in the no, circle. No, OG, no, 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 OG does not, not beg no, for nothing. That's, not that's what it sounds like. What is like. it then? Burning the real problem. This is the problem that's right what it here. sounds she like. I the other night for you to get on the phone with them. Swallow my pride. I said, Kristen, can you push on it? Exactly. And Kristen is a non factor. Nobody. Oh, Kristen is irrelevant. So, Kristen's storyline is OG. What else does she have to bring to the show? Liza had more relevance than she did. And Liza is brought nothing, which is very disappointing. I, I still think that you're a great person, but you have nothing to offer a reality television show. You don't have that spark. You don't have that oomph. You don't have that it factor to be on the show. And neither does Christian. Child. I'm glad. Okay, so listen. I'm glad you said you that. You and her got into a little bit of words because you was like the Christian blah, blah, blah. But it still ended pretty good. Christian left. Was no blizzard. But she did say that she was It's always funny how they like to say that OG is the one that is starting these arguments. The arguments that started with Nia 
was the fact that Nia went to Shawnee O'Neal about something that she said that is a major factor, a major issue. So the fact that you can, you guys continue to try to paint this narrative that she is the one that starts the stuff. Listen, what OG does is she finishes it. OG is a finisher. And that's why y'all don't like her. She's a finisher. So she asked me a question once, I ignored it. She asked me again, I don't have to answer people's okay, questions. And, she, and I agree, nobody has to answer anything they don't want to God answer. Lee. My point is, it was a long day, it was a stressful day, but Shawnee's hearing, well damn. That's OG hearsay. is saying this, then I talk to you right here on this couch and you go, my stance is not gonna change. Jackie, do you think she's gonna want to talk? It's unfortunate. It's it really goes to show you, Shawnee O'Neal, you're a piece of trash. Because instead of being a grown woman, you're sending all these people to have a conversation with her to feel the temperature in the room, but you refuse to talk to her because she's not complying, saying the things that you want her to say. But you're an executive producer on the show. The problem with you, Shawnee, is the day that you decided that you were going to use the executive power and prevent OG from coming on the stage during the reunion, you inserted yourself in it. You can't, yo, like you're the one, you're the reason why you're in this position. Like I said before, people are used to you allowing bad behavior to happen on uh, Basketball Wives, but they're not accustomed to you just doing that to a person the way that you handled brandy maxiel she wanted to have a conversation with you face to face that happened you didn't even allow og to have a conversation with you to tell you why you were wrong you want to protect your friend and say okay well the only way that i'm gonna talk to her is if she apologized to me and also say that evelyn is not a racist and a colorist and i'm not a colorist either it's like grown toddlers can't stand y'all you're saying you're telling me shawnee has refused to talk to me because of everything another person has told her and that is unfortunate how is that a great I business move have been open ready willing <laughs> and humble to talk to her about whatever she wants to talk about and the fact that people are making decisions based off of somebody else's encounter is unfortunate i cannot control that i'm not mad i'm not happy i'm not sad i'm indifferent i don't care at the end of the day if you want to talk to me i'm still open yeah, they don't, where, okay they don't. you said that that's fine um, i'm still I'm open because now we're at I'm the point where you so, already know i i get what you're saying it is no you don't yo like this is or? like you are just scatterbrain jackie so, so, jackie is so, so scatterbrain why are you inserting jennifer jennifer has no, no relevance either you're, now you're just playing a, a playing a role right now. So I'm, I'm yeah. Playing a role. She's like, you can play that as with me. I went when. You've been defensive with me. You've been defensive with everybody. Else. You have been fighting with Jackie the whole time we've been here, and I've been in the middle. I went at it with you. Now you're making stuff up. That's fine. Sip your wine. I'm not even gonna get into I, it with you. I have been. I'm not making Jennifer. I have been at it with you. Jen, you've yelled at production, you've yelled at cast members, you've yelled at everybody, you've disrespected so many people. I have never been combative with you. You have been rude this entire time. You have been asked to be treated like a princess. Nobody says anything. We have sat here and listened to you talk about scam likely a hundred a million times. We have sat here and listened to you. It's really not because you're making stuff up now. You're making stuff up now. It's better to just step out because you're making stuff up now. You're making stuff up now at this point, and it's no, really you're sad. Making stuff up. I'm really you not. Are actually the one that is I'm not. Stuff up. Oh, I'm really not. You Why are. are you yelling? You are. Why are you yelling? So you now you're gonna I'm tomorrow. You're gonna say I yelled, right? No, I'm okay. 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 <laughs> Nobody's trying to appease me. Yes, what are you are. saying? This, they have to get a whole lot of house for you because you didn't want to do a home shoot. And Let me tell you something. If she was talking to Evelyn like that, Evelyn would have slapped the taste out of her mouth. If she would have been talking to Malaysia like that, Malaysia would slap the taste out of her mouth. Why is it that these women feel that they can give OG this type of energy when they know doggone well that they can't fight?
They know doggone well. They will call the cops. You are not a windmiller. I need you to have several seats. You are a crier. And you are passive aggressive. And, and this is who you really are. This person right here. Ratchet. That whole zen. Ah, that's fake. This is really who you are, Jen. Piece of trash. Uh, no, because I don't trust people like you to know where I live. Because I don't trust people like you to know where I live. I'm not trying to come uh -huh. to where you live at. And I'm not trying to come to where you live at. Because I don't want to get shot at by some... <laughs> so anyway... That's you. Jesus Christ. No, that's you. Oh. No, that's you, babe. You talking? <laughs> I, I know you've been waiting to say that. It's just the, the truth comes out. <laughs> When you're, when you're, when you're, you're, wait a minute, OG, oh man, that was great. That was great. That was epic. Oh, it geez. comes out when you're applied, when you apply the pressure. Your truth comes out. That's why, that's why I don't trust you. That's why you've been begging, OG, trust me. I'm trying to give you support. I can't trust you because you're fake. You're, you, you never, you never did. Like, what are you talking about? I'm not going to dance around the subject. You've never been 100 with me. You've never been 100 with anyone in this group. And Yo. you've been on an island, and I sat there and supported you like a real person, not fake. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. You've been talking <laughs> come out. Everybody's seen it. Everybody's seen it, so. This is, this is very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. And it's my call now. Because she's lying. Go ahead. <sighs> Jackie, shut up. And I did not, when I planned this trip with Evelyn, I didn't want to come. Such a victim. How did this go from them arguing up to you becoming now the victim? What do you want to see happen next? Because we can't go forward. Today is the final day to, we, we can't. I don't want to. So if, do you want to, I have nothing to say. Yeah, they, they don't want to talk to me. They don't want to, and I don't have anything I can do to the point where I've gotten into words with women because it's like, Jackie, you're not getting me. I'm getting you now. Victim. So, Victim. I think next time I would just go with my gut and not come since I didn't want to come to begin with. And I was just trying to honor your invitation. And <sighs> I see that. All my efforts are in vain, so it's fine. I don't really care. However you choose to proceed forward, you guys proceed forward and just, yeah, I'm going to continue to remain on the right well, side you know, of history. That's totally not fair to me. To say what do you mean? I should go with my gut and I was just trying to honor your invitation. I invited you and I wanted you here and I still want everyone here, but it's not, it's not going to work. We okay. don't, we can't, so what, we what do you want me to home. say? I, I mean, I'm saying what I'm saying, and that's still not good enough. I don't know. What are you saying? They won't do it. Okay. You're saying it now. I was sitting here going, I don't care. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I don't care. Jackie. What do you want me to do? I don't care. What am I doing? You're telling me they don't care, so am I supposed to care when. Yo, I used to feel bad when people used to say that you was a weirdo. You are 100% a weirdo. And delusional. Somebody that you're saying you're tired, OG. Okay, so am I. I've been too tired. Late. Too little, too late. It's been it's been almost two years. Uh, it should have happened a year and a half ago. It hasn't. And now but they're you tired. Mean, you didn't even apologize to Evelyn. I don't owe her an apology. Apologize to Evelyn for what? I do not owe her an apology. Thank she you. She is not black. Period. This one has said. This that. one has said she's not black. She said I'll be there for you in your lawsuit. I'll be a witness. And now she's changing her tune. She said that. She said okay, it's a good time to check out. She said that I will be a star witness. She said oh she's using my old attorney. This Do we hear some juice? Jennifer was willing to testify on the behalf. Of OG. Child. See, this is why I say that you just have an obsession with Evelyn. If you can't be in her life, you're going to try to ruin her life. Uh, and if you could be a part of her life, you would try to ruin the life of somebody that she's trying to ruin. I, I You're not even worthy to be called a follower. You are a stalker. So you have an obsession with Evelyn Lozada that is just, it's just far beyond my understanding. If you're not trying to hurt her, 
And if she's on your side, you're going to try to hurt the people that's, that she's hurting. I let her talk. I didn't even I didn't even subpoena her. I didn't even include her in the lawsuit because I didn't want to get in the middle of her. She's changing her tune and true to form. I've seen these characters. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? I'm not accusing anybody. I'm speaking facts right now. I'm speaking facts. You couldn't even answer the question because you know it's factual. Did you not did you not say that you were gonna you wanted to help me with my case? Did you not say that? Is that a fair statement? No, that's not what you said. Thank God it's recorded. You didn't say that. You didn't, you didn't say I was green. You said that you said she done sued so many people. You never remember what you say. That's the problem. Anyways, my point is this. My point is this. That's not true. I got plenty of of, of situations. Girl, them girls are trying to them girls are trying to make a spot. Plotting. You don't know nothing about them girls. They were plotting against me with another girl to try to get in this same situation, and now they're here. And because their other storyline is not available, they try to come for me. And you thought because I had a case, I wasn't going to jump up out of my. The fact that these women continue to try to paint OG a certain type of way and use these women. They came on the show for a purpose. They came on the show for Phoebe. And try to use them as a way, as a tool to use against OG. This is the same individual that sent pornographic videos to his ex baby mother. This is somebody who stalked, who threatened to harm and beat Phoebe. This is a person that you're gonna take the side of because you don't like OG. And thank God I controlled myself because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when this plane passes, when this plane passes, I'm gonna land and that's gonna be it. At the, at the end of the day, you guys, you guys are used to each other going back and forth and hitting below the belt and then apologizing and then having a kumbaya moment and then moving on. I'm simply saying it's okay to me. I'm, I'm being real. I'm simply saying it is okay if we don't agree on something. What's one subject we don't agree on to the hundreds of subjects y'all don't agree on? I'm saying it's fine. If you don't see what I experienced, you know what it's here. fine. Oh, no, it's not because it happened before I was here and it's not that major because it's been happening in the world. So, it, Jen, why were you in Amsterdam? Why were you in Costa Rica? Why were you in San Diego? You, you're asking questions you know the answer, but you, you're asking questions you know the answer to. So you sound okay, foolish. I, so I don't care who started it. It, it. I don't care who started it. I know. I, let me not even hit below the belt. I'm not even going to do that. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm not going to do you like you do your friends of 20 plus years. I'm going to take the high road and not hit below the belt because I know for a fact and I've seen evidence for a fact with your situation. So I'm gonna leave okay, you with your whatever. situation. So I'm gonna leave it right there. No, that's your high road. And I, I don't allow people to keep throwing drinks in my face like a masochist. I keep returning and having a table thrown at me and I keep returning and Girl. Oh, oh gee, come through, come through, come through. That's it. Who takes that kind of behavior? You're not going to beat me and, and throw drinks in my face and expect me to come back, sister girl. So, so the third the third example of a black woman I gave, the one who's desperate for trying to fit in, that's you. That's you. You want to fit in so bad, you will allow them to throw a drink in your face. Oh. You will allow them to throw tables in your face. You will allow them to talk to you. Turning. So who's the masochist? You or me? <laughs> come you. on. Thank you. So anyways... Jackie, if she's she's saying you said she you don't want me here. Is that is that, is, that is, she, is she speaking for you truly? I don't, I don't as you're a strong woman, why why are you wanting to continue this? No. I didn't say anything about continuing anything. I said do whatever you want to do. If the trip's over She is such a coward. She want OG to be the one to say, I am leaving. What a coward. Wash her hands from situations, wash your hands from
taking ownership and responsibility. You invited her on this trip for your own motives, to save your paycheck, to save the show. You didn't invite her because she's your friend. You invited her to get her to compromise and to fold. The trip's over. If the trip's gonna go on, the trip's gonna go on. I don't care either way. I'm not continuing nothing. I'm not forcing nothing. I'm allowing things to transpire organically. And if a conversation happens later, great. If a conversation a conversation does not happen later, it's unfortunate. They don't. They said they would never come. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate for them. Oh well. Yeah. They, it really they, is. They, they don't. It's okay, OG. Like talking. Well, that's unfortunate for them. Do you see what I mean? My phone died. Let's see if it will allow me to record the rest of this. Buying, and my buying, storage is full. Them gifts no. And not knowing them. No, in all fairness, I'm going to be honest. Girl, let's stop. Going forward, I think I'm going to just call it on a vacation. Um, never has this happened in history. We've taken anybody anywhere. But it has, it's, it's something that can't proceed forward. Because, I mean, I mean, So, I mean, if we're, we're having a good time with our touch and energy, you know, we know what happens. I'm not going to even continue uh, to play the rest of this. But there's another video that I wanted to react to. This is not the one that I wanted to react to. But I am going to react to that video. But my storage is full because I have like three or four hours worth of content on um, in my data right now that I have to edit and put out. So I'll get back to this OG situation. But do the other one live. I'm gonna release this one and do the other one on the other application. All right, you guys, thank you for watching my latest uh, video on this whole topic of OG. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Ciao.